Hey guys, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. I'm Shantae, and we are giving three natural looks for date night. Valentine's Day is today. Happy Valentine's Day to all of my babes out there, and to all of my gals too, because single is okay. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Enjoy yourself. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Alright babes, before I go any further, if you are new to our channel, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, sweetie. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey bestie, hey mama, hey friend, hope you are being blessed and safe as always. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the first hairstyle. So this one is a simple bun with a bang, honey. Took me three minutes to do this entire style. So of course, we got the hair from Amazon. It was sent to me and I wanted to try it out and I am growing out my hair I'm going through my natural hair journey so my hair is getting longer and that is requiring me to actually do it now so we got to come up with some natural hairstyles to rock during the week all right so this hair is 18 inches I received it in the color 1b y'all know I usually prefer my number two but they didn't have that one available there are other colors available just not number two so here are some of the supplies we are going to need I am going in first with some water I got some uh, my spray bottle ready honey I'm gonna smooth down my hair as much as possible this is a week old twist out that I did on myself and I just kind of let it just hang around and do absolutely nothing okay I'm then gonna go in with some eco styler gel to smooth out my edges I love the eco styler gel because it's very like watery it has a very like water based kind of uh, texture going on. So I like to use that because that definitely helps with laying it down. Smooth it out with a bristle brush and then I'm going to add a edge scarf and let that lay um, for probably about 15, 20 minutes. In the meantime, while waiting for it to dry and kind of set up in there, I'm gonna do my makeup and we're gonna come back and finish this. All right, and now we're back. So I'm removing all of my head scars, my edge wrap, all that good stuff. And now we're gonna get one bundle. That's all you're gonna need is one bundle. So take a portion out for your bang and make sure you fit it to the length that you like. Um, after I did it a couple of times, I realized that my bang wasn't as long as I ha would have liked it. Um, but you can always take it off and readjust it. And then you just wrap it around your bun and pin that sucker down with some bobby pins and a hair tie. And that's literally literally it I played around with my bang a little bit to fluff it out and get it to where I want it I probably took the most the most time just adjusting my bang alone which that's okay that's okay but um yeah just play around with it add the bobby pins where you would like just to your preference and then I decided to add a little rose off to the side because it's date night and I feel like the rose just gives date night Valentine's vibes, right? Okay, next we got the number two hairstyle. So with this one, I want to do like a Afro ponytail. So I am going to do a part from ear to ear going across my head and we are going to ponytail that back piece up. This is just gonna make it a little bit easier with putting our hair into one ponytail. Section it off can definitely help especially if you have thick hair with putting your hair all into one ponytail so add some water spray it down real good add your eco styler gel if you need to any kind of edge gel whatever you prefer using and brush it down with your bristle brush and add a hair tie to tie it all down then we're going to move to the front part of the hair i decided i wanted a side part if you want to do a middle part you can definitely do that too it, again it's your preference what you prefer what you would like create be be creative with it you know what i'm saying so i'm going in with my brush again smoothing it down my hair is damp i did spray it i don't want you to think i'm just working with some dry hair i did spray it with some more water just to smooth it out i have eco styler already in there and then i'm just pulling it back to my liking now you see there's a little bit of fuzzies kind of hanging out that is okay the edge control is going to lay those puppies down and then we're going to add a scarf and you know let it set for 15 20 minutes 
All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and prep my ponytail. So I am using two bundles of hair. So the bundle that we used yesterday, I ain't throw that sucker out, honey, we are recycling. And then I added a second bundle, rubber band those two together, and I used the same rubber band that the hair came with. And then add that ponytail to your bun in the back. Take a couple of bobby pins to kind of pin it down because you don't want the ponytail to be flying all over the place. But it was pretty secure once I added maybe two or three little bobby pins, and that is it now let's move on to hairstyle number three last but not least so with this one I kind of want to do like a bubble ponytail but I also want to do a mohawk so I decided to combine the two and so for this one we're going to create three buns so we're gonna have one part going across the crown of the head from ear to ear spray your water of course brush it on down and bun it up Now for the second bun, we're gonna do a part from ear to ear, but it's gonna go across the back of the head. And this is gonna be our second bun. And then that very last section at the very bottom is going to be our last bun. So we're gonna have these three buns and then we're gonna get our bundles of hair after we're done. So this hairstyle is gonna require two bundles of hair. So that same ponytail from the last hairstyle, yes ma'am, we're recycling that hair, honey. So I just split it into, back to its original two bundles, and I'm taking the first bundle, creating a bang right here in the front, and then I'm going to rubber band around that first bun. So it's gonna create this nice little bubble puff right after our bang. Then we're gonna move on to a, the second bubble. Now for this one, I had to like kind of make an imaginary bubble here. So so I'm just puffing it up to my liking and then I'm a rubber band our second bun there so now we have these three bubbles going on right so I also ran out of hair as you can see the 18 inches was not long enough that's where our second bundle is going to come into play so I'm going to take the second bundle and I'm going to place it over that middle bun and rubber band that down right all right you're following me right and then like we made that imaginary bun between the first bun and the middle bun we're going to do another imaginary bubble between the second bun and the last bun and all that does is all i'm doing is just puffing up the hair to the puffiness that I would like to create my bubble in between those two buns and then our rubber band around the last bun. So I know you're probably wondering, okay, what are we gonna do with all this extra hair? Well, we're gonna cut off just a little bit, be left with probably about two or three inches left, and all we're gonna do is take that excess of the hair that is hanging there and flip it back over onto that last bun and rubber band it down so it'll all look seamless. So there are a couple of ends that are a little loose. All, no problem, that is an easy fix. We're just gonna take some bobby pins, pin those back into the mohawk, and it's gonna all look seamless and looks so natural so now we're gonna work on our bang of course and this the bang always takes the longest for me I don't know if I'm just picky about my bangs I hate bangs to begin with but I really wanted to make it work for this hairstyle so I just had to play around with it pin it down I did trim it a little bit separate some of the curls just to get the fluffiness that I like but this is all your preference as well And that is it for this look. I added a couple of heart hairpins to the sides just to add that Valentine's Day vibe. And we are done. Again, super easy. Definitely uh, short hair friendly for my girlies who don't have the inches to pull this look off. Um, and I love it because this just looks natural. It just gives off my natural hair. And that's what I really love about this kind of kinky hair. 
the hair is super soft, okay? Let me say that. Sent me a total of eight little bundles and they have them all rolled up. Cause at first when I pulled it out, I was just like, how is this supposed to be eight bundles? But they have it rolled up um, and it's 18 inches long. I got it in the color 1B because they didn't have two available. But this 1B doesn't look harsh black. Like most 1Bs on me just look really harsh and really like, like midnight black. It just doesn't look natural on me. But this doesn't look bad. I really feel like, you know, I could pull off this 1B. But for the eight packs, it was only like $20, $25. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. But if you do wanna purchase it, it is linked down below in my description box. You can shop my entire Amazon store where I featured all kind of hair products, hair accessories, and hair um, from my channel. They are all, all on there for you to shop. There's pictures on there, you can click the pictures and find out what hair I'm wearing and you can purchase those. Of course, I do make commission off of those links provided below. So it does help with growing my channel. So if you do purchase, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair tutorial here on my channel. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.